Linus Tech Tips coverage of CES 2014 is brought to you by NCIX.com, your source for great technology, selection, and service, along with Corsair Memory and Western Digital. We're here in Gigabyte's showcase where there happens to be an overclocking event going on over there. But the thing that I'm actually interested in is right here. Now, guys, this is as prototype as prototype can be. It doesn't even have a name. They're just calling it Bricks Gaming and Expander Card. And this is clearly not a card. It also has like mini SAS HD cables connecting one of their Bricks Pro uh, little tiny PCs to this massive external box. So this is just like Frankenstein together. It's totally like it, it probably won't even use these cables. It might even use Thunderbolt or USB 3 or something like that. But what this is, you guys, is an external box that allows you to expand the graphics capability of whatever machine you happen to connect it to. Now they're planning to hopefully bring some something more finished to Computex, but right now there's a bunch of different ideas. So number one is this mini SAS connectivity that has this PC, which is otherwise running an AMD Radeon 8550G, it has it running a GTX Titan. All right, so I'm going to let that sink in for a moment. GTX Titan. Now, obviously, you need the special connector right now. They're also looking at other solutions. Like, this is a regular desktop, and they're thinking maybe you could add, like, a PCI Express 16X card that goes out to a box that maybe supports more than one GPU. Like, right now, these ones, if you have a, have a look at the end here, have a single GTX Titan graphics card in them, and that is it. But the power supply in here is actually 600 watts in this prototype, so it could potentially support two cards in SLI, or we could be looking at expansion for other things, maybe high-end video capture cards or whatever else the case may be. And it could, cut, get, could get to the point, okay, guys, where you have your Ultrabook, you carry that around with you, you sit down at home, you got a Core i7 inside it or whatever, really decent CPU, you plug it into your bricks, whatever they call this thing, and all of a sudden you have a fully fledged gaming rig running off of your notebook. Now probably a good third of Gigabyte's presence here is all about their Bricks lineup. So they have regular Bricks, they have Bricks Pro, and they have something that caught my fancy, which is Bricks Max. This is a NAS solution slash server slash, I don't even know what you want to call it, but it has a Core i5-4250U inside. And check this out, you guys, four two and a half inch hard drives in something that is small enough that I can hold it up with a couple of fingers. So you've got gigabit LAN, you've also got USB 3.0, HDMI out, it's a fully functioning system that also happens to be able to support four by one terabyte hard drives. You can see there are individual hard drive activity LEDs on the front of the unit, and I think it is pretty freaking cool looking. It actually doesn't even run that hot. They had it powered up just a moment ago. Now, the regular Bricks are sort of your, your small, compact machines, and then Bricks Pro actually comes in a variety of different configurations, including ones with Intel processors, AMD processors, GeForce dedicated graphics, Radeon dedicated graphics, and of course, one one of the stars of the show, which is the Iris Pro model that they've got running both Battlefield 4 and 4K video playback here at the show, just with onboard graphics. Now, of course, Gigabyte's not all about systems and notebooks. Yes, we do have an exciting new motherboard to show you guys here. This is the GAZ87X UD7TH. And the TH is, of course, for threesome, because this one will get you laid so fast that you... No, actually, that's not what it's for. It's for Thunderbolt. Now, Gigabyte has already had Thunderbolt motherboards in the past, including ones with dual Thunderbolt ports, just like this one has. But what they've never shown us before is dual Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt 2. So each of these Thunderbolt ports is capable of 20 gigabit per second, just like the new Mac Pro, except unlike the new Mac Pro, you can throw a bunch of PCI Express cards in for expansion. You've got high-end onboard audio. You've got built-in liquid cooling as well as air cooling, so it's going to be well-cooled regardless. It's got all the V checkpoints you could possibly want, as well as onboard buttons for overclocking, and all of those things that PC enthusiasts love. Now this one right here, I actually don't know what that is in between those two PCI Express slots, and they won't tell me, but I'm sure, given that they won't tell me, that that's very, very exciting. Closing out the Gigabyte Suite, we have the 
not Gigabyte, no, this is a new brand, a premium brand, an Aorus brand. This is the X7 notebook, which is an extremely slim Core i7 quad-core notebook with a glass trackpad, fully backlit keyboard, programmable macro keys on the side. It also has dual GeForce GTX 765Ms, 1080p non-TN panel, and most importantly, it doesn't run too hot and it doesn't run too heavy or too thick. This is an extremely slim, extremely Extremely cool gaming notebook. We actually have a full unboxing and overview of it also available on the channel, so you should definitely check that out. But one thing we weren't able to do during that video was show that it can actually game at 4K. So they've got a couple demos here, one with it running at 4K, one with it outputting over its two HDMI ports and its single display port port to three monitors running NVIDIA surround. Yes, friends, off a notebook. It's running Batman Arkham Origins at 3 3 by 1080p at normal details, and the minimum FPS and the benchmark built into the game was 44 frames per second. Guys, don't miss any of our CES 2014 coverage. Remember, we are powered here at the show by NCIX.com, your source for great technology selection and service, in addition to Western Digital and Corsair Memory. Thanks so much to all of those folks for letting us be here.